Good morning, everyone. This is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy. Today I want to talk a little bit about strings. Now, I know strings have a tendency to be a little boring, but strings also are very important, and we work with strings all the time in Windows PowerShell. So, um, quite often uh, we think that we need to use regular expressions or something like that to work with uh, strings, but as it turns out, uh, the .NET framework has a lot of, um, you know, very, very powerful uh, methods, properties, and stuff that we can use. So I can use get member uh, to look at the uh, static properties and stuff that we have. And we can see that we've got some methods. Uh, so is null or empty, is null or white space. And these actually are pretty useful uh, because um, I, it means that I can use these all the time. They're always available. So, for instance, if I uh, create a string, I'll just call it $A is equal to um, a string, then uh, this is a string. So, uh, if I look at it, then we can see that it's a string. If I send it to a get member, then it comes back and it tells me right up here that it is in fact a string. Cool. So uh, what if I go back to my uh, to my st static methods from the string class? So if I go to string and um, I go, uh, is it null or empty? And so I can tab through this, so I, uh, so I don't have to do a lot of typing. Even though these names have a tendency to get very long, I can just kind of like tab and I say dollar $A. And this is going to let me know, is this string empty or is it null? And it says no. Okay, oh, uh, that's cool. So what about if I go to uh, just... Uh, I don't have a variable called uh, $Z, and so what if I come over here and I just say $Z, is it null or empty? Well, yeah, it says it is in fact null or empty, and uh, that's, you know, we would expect it uh, to be either null or empty, wouldn't we? And uh, so what if I take $B, uh, so I'm going to create a new variable, and um, I'm going to put a space in here, and uh, you know we see this sometimes when we're reading uh, from you know CSV files or other kinds of data. Yeah, and there's a space in there, and um, so uh, is it null? Is it empty? Uh, no, it's not. And uh, there's actually something there. It's a space, and um, that's not necessarily means it's the final frontier, but it is in fact space. Okay, cool. So what if I go back over here now and I basically erase that space, if you will, and uh, is it null or empty now? And it comes back and says, yeah, it is in fact either null or empty. And um, the reason that I say this is important is because if I'm reading data and I've got a white space in there and I try to do sorting or selecting, then uh, it's going to mess things up. If it's null or if it's empty, then it might also uh, mess things up. And so I really need to know, is this string null or empty? Well, what about... Um, the other uh, the other method that we've got and the other method was is it null or is it a white space so I'm going to create a another variable and this time I'm going to call this variable dollar C and dollar C is equal to that space that we had earlier uh, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to say is it um, null or is it a white space? And dollar C and uh, comes back and says, yes, true. Uh, it, there it is, in fact, either null or it is, in fact, uh, have a white space. And so by using this stuff, I can quickly and easily find out, you know, uh, is this uh, variable, yeah, is this thing that I've, I'm working with, is it null, is it empty, or is it a white space? And this is very quick, very easy for me to be able to do this, to look at this stuff. I don't have to mess with uh, complicated regular expression patterns that I'm not necessarily going to be able to remember or anything. Just quick and easy. And now here I was using examples uh, from looking at variables that I created. Well, I did this so that I could you know, basically illustrate the point. But I can use these things uh, from, um, from when I read a uh, text file and I need to parse that information, you know, because I've got a string, and if I've got a string, then I can look and I can see, hey, is this string null? Is it empty? And uh, whether I'm doing this, um, you know, 
directly or uh, indirectly uh, is still a very powerful method. So I um, hope that you can use this and uh, that it uh, helps make things easier for you. And I am Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.